Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, I want people to know. That don't mean I'm finna tell them every inch and nook and cranny of my bitch. It appears that the marriage between D.A. Bratt and Judy is facing serious trouble, but the real drama extends beyond their relationship issues. As often happens with high-profile divorces, there's a significant financial aspect at play. Reports suggest that Judy may not be as wealthy as she portrays. She's reportedly inflating her financial success, claiming that her company earns millions. Meanwhile, sources indicate that Dia Brat has begun to circulate negative stories about Judy, alleging that she is a poor mother and a gold digger. Despite their seemingly perfect Instagram posts, the situation is deteriorating rapidly. Judy has been sharing posts like, I don't know why people want us broke up so bad. It appears there's more to the story and DA Brat seems to be eager to end the marriage. Adding to the complexity, there are rumors that Judy is facing significant financial troubles, including struggling brands and potential bankruptcy. So contrary to the flawless image they've portrayed on social media, their relationship and financial situation are far from perfect. I believe. And this might be the rainbow butterflies to me that thinks everything is It seems Judy may have briefly left Dia Brat to reconnect with a past flame, possibly seeking some carefree moments before feeling trapped in the marriage. This has led people to question Judy's true motives and the entire strategy she might be employing. Some speculate that she viewed Da Brat as a means to elevate her brand. Interestingly, shortly after this drama began, D.A. Bratt's collection appeared for sale, accompanied by the story of how the renowned rapper came out after more than 20 years of keeping her sexuality private. The brand has gained significant traction on social media, and Judy's hair products are receiving notable attention, particularly within the LGBTQ community. Whether it's a coincidence or not, Judy seems adept at leveraging social media to her advantage and crafting a public narrative. If that is your desire, you still can go after it. Beyond the personal turmoil unfolding between D.A. Bratt and Judy, there are growing suspicions about the authenticity of their relationship. People are starting to question whether Judy's feelings for D.A. Bratt were genuine or if the entire relationship was merely a publicity stunt. Meanwhile, D.A. Bratt was deeply invested, referring to Judy as her twin flame. Everything about her made me want her to be mine forever and I felt like I knew it not much longer than from the day we met. Two years after their extravagant wedding, Da Brat has uncovered that Judy may have been using their relationship to gain publicity. Recent rumors suggest that Judy had a fling with one of her ex-lovers and there's even speculation that she might not genuinely be attracted to women. Some of her former partners are claiming that Judy is as straight as they come, but she may have seen the relationship with D.A. Brat as a means to boost her fame and financial prospects. Their high-profile romance, heavily showcased on social media, led to a surge in attention for Judy's products. Social media, which got, you know, it got mixed reviews, but it shot up. And if you think that theory is shady, consider Judy's grand proposal to D.A. Brat. It seems like Judy might have been looking to capitalize on LGBTQ support, using their relationship to boost her image and income. While using love for financial gain isn't unheard of, successfully deceiving a rapper and her millions of fans would be quite the feat. However, Dia Bratt's family wasn't fooled. From the beginning, Dia Bratt's sister, Lissarai, was skeptical of Judy and clashed with her multiple times. It's almost as if Lissarai saw through Judy's facade and the rest of us didn't catch on. Stay in the know of what is going on because we're not just talking about things that's I'm not suggesting Judy is some sort of evil mastermind or running an elaborate scheme, but when you piece everything together, it paints a certain picture. It seems like Judy viewed Dia Bratt as a stepping stone to elevate her status, particularly when her hair care business needed a boost. Judy even hinted at this in an interview, admitting that while you might love your friends and family, they might not always understand the vision you have for yourself. After achieving her goals with D.A. Brat, Judy's true colors began to show, and it's clear she hasn't exactly been a standout mom since the arrival of their second baby. With the constant demands of a newborn, D.A. Brat has been seriously questioning Judy's parenting abilities. Despite Judy's frequent posts of adorable pictures with their son True on social media, it seems those moments might just be for the gram. We did. We've been doing videos all day. Diabrat is now publicly accusing Judy of being a poor mom, not just to their son True, but to her other children as well. It seems like Judy's primary focus is promoting her brand, and many fans are starting to see through her intentions. One social media user commented, I knew it was all a gimmick from the start, it's just business another added, I think the whole relationship was just a publicity stunt and D.A. Brat was kept in the dark.
According to an insider, these suspicions might hold weight as witnesses frequently see Dia Brat and Judy arguing over trivial matters. Despite this, Judy continues to portray herself as a devoted mom on social media, showcasing her parenting skills with True. However, people are increasingly calling out her posts as mere performative parenting. You like the more baby? Look, I'm standing up. He got it all in his nose. Oh my God. Oh my Judy's actions since True's birth haven't shown much of a shift in her priorities. In an interview, she admitted that she neglected her older children while she was busy building her business. Videos on TikTok reveal how her firstborn daughter ended up taking on a motherly role for her younger brothers. While I'm not trying to label Judy as a bad mom, when you put everything together, it paints a rather troubling picture. It's no surprise there are accusations that Judy has been deceiving Da Brat, her own children, and even her fans with this romance. Now, it seems like the consequences of these actions are catching up with her in the worst possible way. I could get over this tragedy, this huge tragedy. Sources are now revealing that Judy's hair care empire may be on the brink of collapse. While the media continues to highlight her tumultuous love life and questionable parenting, the real crisis seems to be her financial turmoil. Rumor has it that the hair products Judy has been heavily promoting are failing to live up to the hype. Customer reviews are scathing with one saying, I wish I could give this product a negative rating. It burned my scalp, causing bleeding and pus bumps, and my hair stuck to my hair, stuck to my head. With feedback like this, it's no wonder sales are struggling. Things are reportedly getting worse, with Judy's business sinking and mounting debt. As the divorce drama unfolds, it looks like Judy might be left in a precarious financial situation. A nice person, really, but I was just so smitten because I had never felt this way. Some are alleging that Judy has been living way beyond her means, squandering her wealth on designer clothes, extravagant vacations, and lavish gifts for D.A. Brat. It turns out she might have been charging these expenses to credit, betting that her business ventures would cover the bills. In her own words, I risk it all when ideas come to me because I believe in what I'm trying to create. I'm not afraid to have zero dollars in my bank account because I've been there before. However, it seems her business may have been more smoke and mirrors than a genuine financial success. Reports suggest that Judy has been borrowing and taking out loans just to keep her company afloat, but now the bills are piling up and she's facing a significant amount of debt she can't manage. Um, but I did get a credit card. I think I had like a $10,000. Let's hope this is all just gossip and nothing more, but my main concern is baby true. Dee Brat herself isn't exactly rolling in dough, despite her plans to return to the music scene. Although she promised new releases, it's been 21 years without any new music. If Judy, who has been the main breadwinner, is indeed facing financial trouble as some sources suggest, it could impact their son's future. Now let's tackle the big question, was the uh, Brat and Judy's relationship ever genuine or just for show? With all the rumors and receipts circulating on social media, fewer people believe in the fairy tale presented on Instagram. One fan commented, I definitely feel Judy got with DA Brat to gain maximum fame and all that comes with it. I've just never trusted Judy. Another user added, one thing's for sure Judy's broke is different from our broke wealthy people file for bankruptcy all the time. They have their own ways of handling financial issues and Judy might know how to manipulate her situation if a separation happens. What do you think? Was this romance just an act on Judy's part? And are the queer queens really heading for divorce? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to check out my other videos.